afternoon, Viva MK. Thank you for joining me in this uh, live Facebook uh, broadcast. Just a quick business update for you on Thursday, the 9th of April, just in case um, some of you have uh, lost what day or date it is or what month it is or what year we're in. It is, in fact, 9th of April, uh, I think it's 2020, and a month that seems to have lasting five years so far. So, Thank you for joining me, for all those watching now, and of course all of those watching um, later on. It's great doing the live, because at least it gave me the opportunity to shave for once. Um, I was starting to look like... Um, um, uh, <laughs> I was starting to look like a big hairy bloke, really. <laughs> but anyway, enough of that. Um, and excuse the um, the wheezy chest, it's nothing to do with any virus, it's more to do with this t-shirt getting tighter as every day goes by. So, you know, rightfully so, um, there are many people out there helping others on the front line. We've all, we're all aware of how brilliant the NHS and everybody that's on the front line helping other people are, and that's phenomenal. And they, and they, and they do it so silently and they do it without recognition. And it's great to see all of those people recognized and rightfully so. Um, you know, and without public recognition, which is a, a, a phenomenal thing, but you know, we do have the greatest health service in the world. You don't need me to tell you that. That is a fact. Um, as far as the business is concerned, I'd just like to take a moment for all those people that silently and without recognition and without parade um, support each other. I've never, ever seen anything like it. And, you know, none of us have seen the era that we're in. Of course we haven't. And hopefully we never, ever will again. Um, but to see each of you supporting each other, um, supporting us as head office, supporting the business, um, the fact that I've always called us the people's business is becoming so true today because what I always meant with the people's business that we were at the forefront as people it was always about the people and supporting each other and that's what you've been doing and you're doing it as, you, as I say, you've done it without parade, without recognition, without any public appearance. So, you know, I'd just like to thank all of you for, for doing that in the business. It's really, without a shadow of a doubt, specifically and categorically what's keeping us going as a motivated and inspired business. You know, we've had more people join recently than we ha ever have had join. Look, I know it's a joining up, for, uh, a free join up at the moment. But you know, that doesn't mean bugger all. I've worked for plenty of businesses where join up is free and people didn't join. Um, so yeah, yes, it's, it's, a, it's a great motive for people to come on board when there's less money around, but it doesn't necessarily mean people do. Having worked for many companies and track record says it doesn't always bring people in. But here, we've got a phenomenal amount of people coming in. So thank you to all of you that are coming on board. Um, you've all got online shops. You can all sell as much as you want to and promote that business as much as you want. You know, as soon as it's categorically clear that we can approach people on doorsteps, that we can mass drop catalogs, you'll see the real power of the business, of the connection that we make with people and what makes our business so phenomenal. I mean, even retail in um, week two, period four has still been good and we'll issue the top 20 around one o'clock, but the top five people who've retailed the most in uh, week two, period four, is that number five is Stacey Maddox. Number four, obviously took a break from saving the world and writing books. It's Satwinder Sagu. Number three, Ron Pasco. Number two, Ali Lloyd and Jeff Locke. And of course, number one, Stephen Payton. Congratulations to five of you. We'll publish the top 20 later. I think it's very important to continuously recognize people who are doing special things in this business. But trust me, the most special thing we have today is the fact that you are just constantly supporting each other. Do you know what the most phenomenal thing is? Is when people contact me 
and they say that they've been supported by one of you. See, you haven't told me that. Somebody else is recognising you to us for supporting them. And we've been inundated with that kind of communication. And it's at this time, it's not just business support people have uh, are wanting. It's emotional support. It, it's all kinds of support in, in, in the way the world is at the moment. So again, you know, really... I wanted to say thank you to everybody once again for what you're doing to keep this business upstanding. And here, of course, as you've seen, we've released quite a few personalized products this week. You'll get the full new range tomorrow morning. Um, and of course, as you know, the the latest House Proud catalog has been published and is available now to buy. Again, we'll issue all the codes again if you haven't had them. You know, so whatever is going on in the world, you know, business has to go on as much as it possibly can. Yes, albeit that we're spending most of our time at home, but the planning and the adaptation and the evolution of the business has to carry on. You know, we haven't um, stepped back from that. And I hate to say this, and I know many of you will shout at me for this, but you know, we're in preparation for Christmas catalogs. And I know that seems like a million, million miles away, but as a business, you have to think that far ahead, not just only to Christmas, but into next year, because we will prevail as a business, we will prevail as a nation, we'll prevail as a world. And when we come out of this, at the other end, your customers are going to be waiting for you for this kind of connection that makes our kind of business so special. So for all of you that are giving your online shop link to your customers to keep them connected, it's a very powerful tool. Even if they're not buying from you directly because they may not want anything at the moment, the mere fact that you are giving the link out there, leading the way, Keeping that connection is so powerful. And like I said, you don't want to sound mercenary in this desperate situation that we're all in. However, there's gonna, going to come a time and it's going to be soon that we are out of this and there is light at the end of the tunnel. Of course we will. We will prevail. And at that moment, people will want you, our Viva MK network distributors, they will want you more than they have ever wanted anybody else because you have that warmth, you have that connection, and it's about people. If this lesson, if it is indeed a lesson has taught us anything, it is that human connection matters the most. I know no jokes about two meter separation. You know exactly what I mean by human connection, and it matters the most. So when you go back to see your customers, they will welcome you with open arms because of the connection and the warmth you have created. And not every catalog company is built the same. Of course they're not. I'm not really interested what anybody else does, but I'll tell you now, we have a lot of people joining our business from other organizations. And of course, naturally, we will welcome them with open arms because the one thing I've always wanted to create in our organization, way beyond the products, way beyond the system, way beyond the plan, was a genuine people connection because it was that genuine people connection that got us through all the stuff that we've all been through on our journeys. And at the end of the day, nothing but nothing matters more than the people we're connected with. The current situation, the world is showing that, our business is showing that, and we will not only show people what the people's business meant and what it's supposed to be about, but you were doing it now in the way that you are all connecting with each other and showing each other the importance of that human connection. You know, I, I, I'm not one to name names and do that kind of recognition for people supporting people, but I'll tell you something. When I get emails every single day, of people telling me that they're being supported by others and how supportive their um, people in the network are being, not just up lines and down lines, but cross lines. You know, that is so powerful. It's almost like 
our business was, you know, set up to be supportive at a time like this. So congratulations to all the new people coming on board. Congratulations to the people that keep on doing the retail that you're doing. People keep asking me time and time again, can we go out with catalogs? Look, as the MD of this company, I will constantly and forever tell you that you have to be safe. The government advice is to stay home. I know some of your customers have been asking you to deliver deliver a catalog, to deliver products, fine, because that is an essential service to those people that are asking for it. Um, my biggest premise is, you know, you need to stay safe. Everybody needs to stay safe. You don't need me to say this over and over again. It's the advice that there is out there. Um, but as a company, you know, if you can do whatever you do with the adequate social distancing and keep yourself safe and have new bags and have all the disinfecting necessities that you need, then of course, you can make that decision. But my advice is always going to be safety first for you and the people around you, because as you know, it's not just you, it's the people around you as well. So as a business, we haven't stopped adapting or changing or evolving with there's a whole host of plans that we're putting into place and looking at things that we can change and improve as this business goes on. Um, and the whole world will be the same as you well and truly know. The whole world will is going through this massive change where we've had to adapt, where we're having to evolve. Um, but I really think the era for our business is going to come into its own again, where people, like I keep saying, will be absolutely hankering for that kind of human connection. Goodness me, you know, some of the things that you do for your customers when you go to the doorstep is phenomenal. And in some cases, and I have the stories, it's the only connection some people have had in the past. So you can see how valuable our business is. Where the online side is concerned, it's only been two weeks since we launched our online portal which allows you to give a link to anybody and we take care of the rest. We pay your commission at the end of the period. It's still straight 25% commission for every single sale you make. And you can see how that's stacking up in your back office. Um, and all you have to do is give that link out to anybody and everybody. And Everybody should be leading the way with that, showing that it works, showing that we can do it and showing that we're evolving. And if nothing else, one of the greatest stories I've heard is customers just thanking people for keeping the connection alive. Even where they said, we don't want anything at the moment. We don't really want to order online, but thank you for keeping that connection alive. And you know how valuable that's going to be when we get out of this debacle that we're in? It's going to be phenomenal not in a mercenary way, not in a capitalizing way. You know, we don't work like that and you don't work like that, but in a human connection kind of a way. The power of what you have and what we have is is unbelievable. So in, in the short term, I would say, do whatever you can with social distancing and, and the guidelines that are out there. Please promote your shop as much as you can to keep the brand uh, uplifted, to keep the brand alive, to keep the brand out there with people. And of course, naturally get some sales as you do, as you are getting. And some people are getting some fantastic sales, but they've had to take the action of putting that link out there. In the meantime, as an organization, we will continue to work on publications. I promised you five catalogs in March. It's now April the 9th. I think it's April the 9th. Um, so we're still two catalogs to go. As you can imagine, that wasn't for want of trying, you know, printing presses and a you name it have been slowed down. Some companies even shut, but we're still on board with it. We're still planning it and it's still going ahead. I haven't got, um, it should, should in some cases could just be a matter of days. It's like the eco products, you know, they were promised for you in the middle of March. Um, the manufacturer 
um, had, had been sidelined to make some disinfecting um, products um, for national corporations. So, but they're, they're, they're all done. They're all packaged. They're ready to go. I do believe they're with us early next week, much later than anticipated. But then nothing is standard at the moment. You know, everything is being affected by the current situation. So just bear with us. As an overall project, I've had some very encouraging conversations with partner organisations. And let me just put this straight. Uh, we will never partner with anybody. One of the great things about our company is it's just me and the staff and you, nobody else. And that's it. And that's the way it will always be. But that doesn't mean that we can't work with some great partnership companies that will give you benefits and give the organization benefits and add an overall credibility. You know, um, and that's really important. But I've had some great negotiations with some brilliant companies. And, you know, the magical thing is, is the number of companies that are approaching us to be partners with us. Now, that's something I never thought that would happen as quick as it had because we're not that well known. You know, we're a very small organization and yet they're coming to us to partner up, even an organization that once in the past with their product range had snubbed us for what we wanted. So you can imagine how that conversation went. So we won't be working with them. But anyway, my point is we're in a great place and that's not because of me. It's not because of our products. It's not because of our brilliant catalogs. It's because of you and the power you bring in this network and people are noticing that. And they're not just noticing that, they're watching that, they're observing that, and then they're trying to partner with us. But we will work with partners. We will get something on board, but that's the bigger picture. My whole point is we haven't stopped adapting we need to change and this is about evolving from where we are today so thank you everybody you know what you're doing and the way you're supporting us and the way you're supporting each other without any kind of public recognition or parade is just beyond me how magical it really is and uh, we'll keep doing what we're doing you keep doing what you're doing and it won't be long before we can get together again and we can celebrate everything that we've created and this amazing quite unbelievable journey we've been on you know I often say to you you know um I've done some writing in my time um and I I don't think anybody could have not just written our journey that we've had but the journey that we're all on in the entire world today couldn't have been written in the weight unfolding day by day so Thank you for all you do. Thank you for being part of this organisation. Congratulations to all the new people coming on board. You haven't seen anything yet. You know, when you see the full power of the way our human connection and our catalogues work, you will be pleased that you came on board and joined this organisation. Thank you, everybody. And please stay safe and undoubtedly have a fantastic Easter. If it is, in fact, Easter weekend, God knows. It might even be Christmas. I really don't know anymore. Um, but have a fantastic time you know where I am you know you can contact me 24 7 365 it really doesn't matter this is the business it's me and you which means you have a direct line to me please use it whenever you need to and I'll catch you soon take care and please stay safe bye